Magandang umaga muli sa ating ngayon, sa ating lahat. Kumusta po kayo ngayon? Dito po sa Bagyo ay maulan po. Ngayon po ay tag-ulan, so mag-ingat-ingat po tayo. I hope ngayon ay buhay na buhay ang bawat isa at ready na pong makinig sa salita ng ating Diyos. Manalangin muna tayo, makapangyarihang aming Ama. Pinupuri at pinapasalamatan ka namin ngayong umaga. Patawarin niyo po kami sa aming mga sala. Ikaw po ang manguna ngayong umaga. Salamat sa paggabay at pagligtas mo sa amin. Ang iyong banal na espiritu ang siyang mangusap sa amin. Ikaw ang aming Diyos na maka mag makapangyarihan at magpakailanman. Amen. Mga kapatid, bakit nga ba tayo maging magalak sa mga pagsubok na dumarating sa ating buhay? So, basahin natin sa James 1, 2-4. Sabi dito sa Tagalog, Mga kapatid, magalak kayo kapag kayo'y dumaranas ng iba't ibang uri ng pagsubok. Dapat niyong malaman na magiging matatag Nagiging matatag ang iyong pananampalataya sa pamamagitan ng mga pagsubok. At dapat kayong magpakatatag hanggang wakas upang kayo'y maging ganap at walang pagkukulang. Napakalina po ang salita ng Diyos. Ito po ay sinabi ni James sa mga 12 tribes ng mga Israelite na na scattered among nations. Na sinabi niya sa mga ito na magalak sila kung ano man ang pagsubok na dumating para mag pagsubok para maging mata, matatag ang kanilang pananampalataya hanggang maging ganap at walang pagkukulang. Tayo rin na mga sumusunod kay Kristo at nananampalataya na magiging matatag din tayo hanggang sa pagdating ng ating Panginoon. Paano ba tayo maging matatag? Ito ang dahilan, yung pagiging matatag natin ang dahilan kung bakit tayo magalak. Maggalak sa anong, anumang pagsubok na dumarating sa ating buhay. Pag sa Ingles kasi sabi niya, Consider it pure joy, brothers, whenever you face trials of any kind. Napakaganda po na consider it pure joy kung ano man ang ating mga trials na nararanasan. Huwag tayong mag-alala. Mayroon po si Holy Spirit na tutulong sa atin na malampasan ang anumang pagsubok na dumating sa ating buhay. Yun po mga kapatid, salita ng Diyos. So, samahan niyo po ulit ako sa naipanalangin ang ating mga misyonaryo at mga churches around the globe na palaging may galak sa, pa sa panahon ng pagsubok at ang trabaho ng kadiliman ay hindi magtatagumpay sa kanilang buhay. So, let us pray. Lord of heaven and earth, our immeasurable God, we praise and glorify your name. Thank you, Father, for your words today that we will be joyful in any trials because we know that it will make us strong in faith. We pray our missionaries, local and international around the globe, missionaries of NCC, 
We know that they are facing various of trials. We pray, O God, that you will strengthen them and empower them that they were able to overcome trials victoriously. God of heavens, our miss, our Father, you are near to them, even in the valley overshadowed with the threatening specter of death. You are beside them, giving them their every breath. In this season of strife and shadow, they need your power. Father, strengthen them by your Spirit. Grant them fortitude to withstand every trial. Likewise, we pray for our brothers and sisters of CHCC and every church of around the globe, all around the globe. God, our fortress, what a joy is to have a friend in Jesus. Even when we are overcome with feelings of abandonment every time we face trials, you are with us, O oh God. We know that they are never truly alone. Fill them with your love and direct them in the way they are to love others. Keep them strong in every trials. Your Holy Spirit is their company in overcoming trials. Let us be victorious, my Lord. Oh, miracle-working God, we pray for our NCC missionaries and other missionaries around the globe. We pray our brothers and sisters at CHCC and other churches around the globe. Jesus, our great physician, many missionaries living in unsanitary condition. They live, they work, they buy groceries and simply exist in every in unhygienic situations. We pray that you place a hedge of protection around them and their families. Please protect their health and cover them with your love. Where there is illness today, reach out your hand and heal. Transportation may be necessary to get the sick to safety. Gracious Father, we pray that you provide for that as well. Almighty One, we thank you that you are our protector and our deliverer. I plead the blood of Jesus Christ upon the life of our missionaries and churches. We pray that every stronghold shall be broken and we shall be delivered in the name of Jesus Christ. We rebuke any physical and spiritual oppression that we can imagine. Light of God, shine through them, lifting darkness and oppression as they share your love. We declare and decree that no weapon formed against them shall prosper in the name of Jesus Christ, because greater is he that is in us than he is in the world. Oh God, we glorify you, Father. And I lift up to you, O oh Lord, the life, the lives of our missionaries and the, our brothers and sisters around the globe. And we this we ask in the most powerful name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen.